Hi, this is Daniel McCone with the 2016 Leadership Academy for the Daytona Beach Area Association of Realtors. This morning, I'm going to walk you through how to pull statistics that are specific to our local association. So let's open up the web page. That'll be Daytona Realtors with an S dot com. That takes you to our association's homepage. As you can see, there's a lot of content here. It's really good stuff. So when you have the time, I highly encourage you to come back and peruse this information. But for today's video purposes, we're going to click on the top right for the press and click on market updates. And that's going to take you to all of the statistics that we have compiled for you. At the top of the page are the quarterly statistics, starting with the end of 2015's fourth quarter. And then they do the year-end reports and then the first and second quarters, all of these broken out with single family and condos. But today we're going to be looking specifically at the monthly statistics. As you can see, MLS statistics starts back in 2012 up through 2016. Keep in mind, the monthly stats are going to be about a 45-day lag. So since it's September, the most current version you're going to get of anything right now is going to be July. So for MLS statistics, click on July, and that's going to open you up to this page. Unless you compare 2016 stats directly to 2015. So a lot of good information here. You've also got the marketing data reports, which is going to show you the listings, new listings, pending, sales, total dollar volume, average sales price and absorption rate. Again, back from 2012 up through 2016 in July. This opens you up to the marketing data, shows you the number of listings currently being held actively in the MLS, breaks them down with residential, condo, and other. Uh, new listings added this month, new sales this month, the dollar volume of each. The average sales price for single family, currently $210,000. Average sales price for condos, $218,000 roughly. Month supply of inventory for single family, just a little over three months supply. And for condos, just a little under seven months supply. Gives you the trend report, which is the sales broken down by price range and the number of bedrooms. On the left side is the single family units and on the right is condos. And then down the left side of the page is the price class breakdowns. And then here at the bottom of the page, you've got the monthly uh, single family stats and the condo. So there's the same information in both of them. They're just broken out between condos and single family. When this opens up, it's going to open up to the summary page. As you see here at the top, it says this report describes member activity for the association as a whole. It's not confined to a specific geographic area. There is a way to pull that information, and we can do a video later for that. Uh, summary stats, closed sales in July, 436. July 2015, 474, which shows an 8% decline year over year. And again, it's got the cash, the median sales price, average sales price, uh, median time to contract, month supply of inventory. A lot of really good information here. I encourage agents, before they go to a function where they're going to run into somebody that will ask the uh, Question, what do you do for a living? And obviously when we're realtors, everybody wants to know what the market's doing. So this gives you the ability to pull the data, have a nice, fresh uh, bit of information to be able to provide them a, a solid answer. If you need more detail than the summary, as you scroll down the page, it drills down. So you get closed sales, cash sales, the percentage of them, uh, median sales price. Keep in mind the difference between median and average sales price. Median means there's an equal number above and below. July 2016, the median sales price for the Daytona Beach Area Association of Realtors single family homes was $195,000, representing a 16% increase year over year, whereas the average sales price shows a $220,000 with only a 6.8% increase year over year. You got the dollar volume of sales, the median percent of original price to list price, a lot of good information here. So if you want to drill down, just remember to scroll down. Uh, again, the same information is available on the condo side. You just have to go to that same way. And again, opens up to the summary page with the drill down information below. If you're looking for something on a broader scale and you want the NAR statistics, the bottom of the page, there's a hyperlink here. Click it and it will open you up to the NAR housing statistics as well. So thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the board directly, and either Mark or one of the admins there will be able to help direct you. Their phone number, 677-7131. Have a great day.